We came out to win. You know, we didn't we didn't play quite the way we needed to the last ten minutes of the first half. You know, got got down by I think nine nine or ten going into half. You know, it's just important us to come out. You know, establish ourselves defensively. And once we did that, we were able to get out and transition. That's where you know that's the easiest spot to get shots, open shots. In. Just what's it like for you? You've had two games now where you really hot. You did miss a shot today, so not as great, maybe. But just what's that feeling like for sure to be really good? Honestly, like, yeah, I'm just out there playing, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even really think about it while it's happening. I don't really think, you know what I mean? Like, you're just kind of focused on the game and what you got to do and just making the right play. You know, fortunately enough tonight, you know, some of my teammates were able to find me, you know, when I was open. So, yeah, fortunately enough to knock some down. Talk about the last one you made. That was one of the you guys got loose in the corner there. What's kind of going on there? Yeah, I mean, they were, uh, you know, kind of pressing and trapping us. And uh, Jake did a good job of getting into the paint. And uh, they, they kind of had to help off of me or give a layup to Jake. So they helped off of me. And, you know, that's a shot you stream of. You know what I mean? Like, it, is, it felt good. Not all your shots. I mean, they weren't all wide open. I mean, you, you were taking some shots off the I mean, you knew you were coming. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, you know, I just continue to be aggressive. Um, you know, that's what Coach Weiberg tells us to do. Um, and, you know, just have faith that, you know, all the time we're in at the gym and, you know, outside of practice is going to pay off. And, you know, fortunately enough, and I was able to hit a few tonight. What does this win mean for this team? Oh, it's huge for us. You know, to come on the road, um, in-state rivalry game, um, you know, hostile environment. Um, you know, I think, you know, we got a really young, inexperienced team. I think, you know, our team, you know, we kind of grew up in the last two weeks, you know, learned a couple of hard lessons last week, and, you know, this is kind of a, more of a fun lesson to learn. Was there any panic at halftime down after that big run they put on the yeah. last um. You know, there, no, there wasn't a, it wasn't a panic. It was just, you know, we needed to do a better job on the defensive glass and, uh, in our transition defense. And, uh, you know, it was in such an up-and-down game that, you know, I mean, when you're down by 9 in Northern Iowa, it feels like 20 because they play so slow. But you know what I mean? Like, when you're playing a team like this that gets up and down like we do, 9 points, I mean, like, you know, that can be a minute and you're back in the game. So, um, you know, we just have faith that, you know, we, we had to do a little better job on the defensive glass and in transition. And, you know, we, you know we, we knew it eventually a shot was it's going when um, I think you only had six in the first half. When did you start to feel like, hey, that's, the rim looks like the ocean blue? Honestly, it felt good in the first half. You know, I mean, yeah. uh, those looks, uh, um, you know, a couple, of, you know, didn't go in, but they felt good. And, uh, you know, I was just going to keep being aggressive. Uh, you know, we're down by nine points. We need to, to score. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's one of my rules on this team, is, you know, to get out there and knock down shots. And, you know, like I said, you know, Deontay, uh, Jay, uh, Jamie did a great job screaming, screening Melvin. You know, everybody, you know, when I get an open shot, it's a lot more interesting than knocking down a shot. You know what I mean? This guy's getting me the ball, guy's getting me open. So. And, and we, this isn't the first time you've done this this year. What, what's the difference between Is it Coach Fred's system? Are you finally healthy? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I think being healthy helps. Uh, I think that, you know, having another, having a year under my belt of, you know, now last year was basically the first year I ever really played. You know, my freshman year at Marquette, I played, you know, a few games, but my, mainly at the end when the game was over. Yeah. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, Coach Fred's got, you know, a little bit more of an open system. And plus, you know, I mean, we lost Craig and Mark Perez, you know, two guys that took a lot of shots for us and were, you know, the focal point of our offense. You know, now those guys are gone. And, um, you know, we've had, uh, you know, kind of a step up by committee, committee. You know, it's been different guys, different nights. And, you know, tonight, um, you know, I got the hot hand in the second half. And, you know, I think we've done a good job, of, you know, just kind of playing the hot hand from game to game. And where does this one rank? I mean, you're 8-2, but this is like your first true road win of the year. I mean, is this kind of something you really build off now? Yeah, I mean, I think we should, you know, take confidence uh, that, you know, we know we can go on, on the road into an environment where, you know, People are yelling at you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Me personally, I love it, you know what I mean? You kind of feed off of stuff like that, but, um, you know, I think for some of the guys that haven't done it before, it can be a little intimidating, and, you know, I think tonight was a big step forward. Some we can, you know, like you said, some we can build off of. Cool, thanks, man.